infield. Look at the safety truck on the inside and watch the 32 car. Oh, man. Oh, that was close. What happened? Fred just blew. I almost hit that truck. I just about destroyed that track worker. Getting the debris off of the track. Actually involved in a little bit of an incident. The 95 hits the safety truck. To Victory Lane, then the care center. Down. Oh! Ryan Newman came down, and everybody behind piles up. I saw a lot of rear tire spin on that restart. I think a lot of guys were struggling with grip, and they just started losing control. Maybe it could have been contact, could have been contact from the 24 and that nose on that Camaro of Ryan, uh, William Byron as he gets to the rear bumper of Ryan Newman. And it looked like he had been hit by the four of Kevin Harvick. The 20 and the 11, they could both get my 10 for him kiss. Momentum was broken and so on. Now on the cool down lap. Yeah, I can understand them a little bit. They were having some contact at the end of the race. I'm not sure about some of this other stuff. I didn't see a whole lot that Denny Hamlin did wrong in that in trying to race in that, that scenario there. Now as the cars stack up at the entrance to the pit road, that's the hit that Kendrick was talking about. And while doing that, Kozlowski runs into the back of Tony Stewart, so then this. From Tony Stewart's bumper camera. And that's where all the front end damage came from. Stay out. Not with you four. Planning on staying here. Staying. Stay. Ready. Pit the pit. Oh. They have crashed at the entrance of pit road. The f was he thinking? He was never going to make the f commitment call anyway. It's just the same old. So you apologize to them as much as you possibly can. I saw everybody bottled up on pit road. You see the safety trucks on pit road. Yeah, the ambulance stops right at the commitment line. That is, that's just a miscommunication. I don't know if if NASCAR told them to roll or if, Na or if they rolled by themselves and pit road was open. Normally pit road would not be open with the rescue squad there, but you can see right here, they have no idea he's supposed to be there, that he's gonna be there. He's not supposed to be there, he shouldn't be there. Now, many of you have asked since Jay Moore launched at the banquet that a 13th month has been added to the calendar, Jeff Gordonary. Here's the word, Jeff Gordonary begins when preseason thunder ends, whatever time that is tomorrow, and Jeff Gordonary continues until the track opens for sprint unlimited practice when we come down here for speed weeks. Why? Because the waiting is the hardest part. So that will be the 13th month is how long you have to wait. You know what he just said. <laughs> I have no idea. Do I know what I just said? It's Jeff Gordonary. Come on. What? Playing Jimmy Moore. And we'll be right back. They're trying to clear debris off the racetrack, and the car brakes, won't steer, and he slides up the track and into the back of that surplus helicopter jet engine on a trailer used to dry the racetrack. Uh, Mike, I saw sparks coming out of the car as if it had a tire down or something. What an incredible turn of events I've never, I've never in my life. Oh my gosh. And all that spilled jet fuel found something hot to ignite it. Safety workers quickly on the scene.